hot fixes, cold fixes. We've got all your fixes here at Dash. Lend me your ear and I'll tell you what I mean. Hi, I'm Amanda B. Johnson. Thanks for joining me on Dash Details. You may know that the Dash network is in the middle of an upgrade from our former version of 12.0 to our current version of 12.1. Compared to how these things are supposed to go, ah! the transition is going relatively smoothly, but there have been a couple of bumps. The first bump was identified and addressed this past week in the form of an optional update. Some users were experiencing an error while their wallet attempted to sync governance objects, and that bug, as well as a couple of other minor ones, has been fixed in the optional hotfix 12.1.1. But now a second bump has been identified, and a fix is in the process. I reached out to Dash Core developer Timothy Flynn for more information. Timothy says, We've been seeing problems with spikes in network traffic. We believe these are being caused by Sentinel instances on different master nodes, essentially all running at the same time. We are preparing a fix which will spread Sentinel activity out across different master nodes at different times. It's important that master node operators update their Sentinel promptly once the fix has been released, which should happen by the end of the week. So there you go. That's why enforcement has not yet been turned on. So if you run a master node, you'll want to watch out for this update to be pushed at the end of the week. Now, to shift gears, let's talk about this last week's price movement. It has been a banner week, you could say, with Dash currently trading at 21 US dollars and 30 cents. This is down a bit from the super all-time high reached a few days ago of $23.88. Today's price makes for a market capitalization of $152 million. To put that into context, here is the market cap chart of the last three months, the last year, and the last three years since the beginning. In network statistics, today's hash rate is 2.25 terahashes per second. Compare this to the hash rate of three months ago, one year ago, and three years ago. ASICs, huh? Also on the network, we have 4,463 masternodes. Of these, between 7 and 10% have not yet upgraded to 12.1. After the Sentinel fix is pushed this weekend, that will probably open the network back up to the flipping of enforcement. So if we have to lose these roughly 350 master nodes who've not yet upgraded, that would be sad, but there would still be more than 4,000 left on the network. So all of this aside, there are a few cool new tools that you might wanna know about, four of them to be exact. First is that there's been a Dash price monitor released for Google Chrome. It's a widget, and the widget can be tweaked to display various metrics and national currencies according to your preferences, and the widget was developed by Alex Werner. The next tool is there is a new way to make treasury proposals to our network. The website proposal.dash.org is a clean and stripped down interface that provides the wallet commands needed for anybody to request funds from Dash's treasury. So this makes it the second easy to use tool after dashcentral.org. Third is really more of a notification. That is the notification that traders on dashes.com now receive email notifications. Prior to this, traders needed to log into their accounts to check that any new trades had been proposed or accepted, but now that information is emailed to them automatically. And the fourth tool is for anybody running your masternode on either Trezor or KeepKey using that fancy Python client written by Dash developer Chaplin. Chaplin has recently added the ability for you to vote on Treasury proposals using this same client app. And as a final announcement, I would like to invite you to attend Dash's first open house. 
It's set to take place on March 30th in Dash's new office space at the ASU Skysong Innovation Center. Speakers will include lead developer Evan Duffield, director of finance Ryan Taylor, and myself. <laughs> we'll be providing pizza, conversation, and of course, a Dash giveaway to everybody at the end. All are invited, and those unable to attend will be able to watch the recorded version if you like. And that's it for this week, folks. Please let us know what you think about this sort of format, this layout, in the comment section below, and I will see you back here next Wednesday at the same time as every time, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. See you then.